Hi, this is Code Practices with InfoPulse Experts. Today I want to talk about API testing with Playwright. Why should I even consider Playwright as an API testing tool if there are tools like Postman? First of all, that is just cool. Second, it is an opportunity to keep all tests in one testing project and maybe even share some test data. The example in the documentation is quite sophisticated, and if you just want to play with API, both context and page objects have the request property that encapsulates API functions. Let's get the list of recipes and verify that the response is okay and there are 10 items in the list. And let's post some data to the same API and verify that the server will respond with an error. While we have a page object, we can combine UI actions with API calls in any order. This can be a great workaround to skip some UI logic and field validation or make tests simpler and more reliable. I have used such API tests to log into the application which uses OAuth2 authentication because it is complicated to authenticate directly via API. So, I get the session via UI, and then use it in API tests. Let me show it using another web application developed by me to train manual QA engineers, the Circus Ticket app, where users can buy tickets to the circus. It is old, but gold. I will add links to this app and the documentation in the description. This app does not have OAuth, but the idea is similar. Let's create a fixture, log in, and then call the API. I am adding navigation expectations to ensure the session is completely loaded. And even more, the authentication can take some time and increase the total test duration, so can't we just save and reuse the browser state? Yes, we can. I am creating a session scope fixture to run it once, log in here. Here I have a few options, just yield the context to the tests. or save the browser state to the file somewhere and then read it by the tests. In this case, I need to set an auto-use parameter to the fixture because we are not calling it directly. And do not forget to delete the config file at the end if you don't need it. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button so as not to miss new episodes. Also, your likes and comments are welcome and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.